It kind of goes without saying that 2020 was a tidal wave. It took us all a lot. But when a tsunami happens, how can you blame the ocean? How can you blame the planet? Why waste time wondering how it happened, when the question we should really be asking is, what is it teaching us? You see, there is a lot we can all learn with waves. And maybe the one big lesson we can take from such a year is that even if life brings you all different kinds of waves to surf, Sometimes, just sometimes, you get to create your own waves. Miguel Blanco is a professional surfer, but during his travels, he found out that his biggest commitment had to be towards the environment. I went to Maldives with my dad and my brother in August, and it was where it really hit me. surfing chickens and cokes. Our boats were parked in the lagoon. People were just passing by. And every time we were passing by, I was watching this tiny island, just full of trash, full of plastic. And people were even stopping to go and take a photo, but they were not doing anything about it. People come here, take photos, and don't even pick up one bottle or one little piece of plastic, bro. That's what trips me out. You see that the reality is a bit different from what people have been selling you. It's a beautiful place, and I would love to go back and surf it with my kids one day, just like I did with my dad. And for that to be possible, there has to be a change. Waves are motion, and they can also be emotion. Ever wondered how are they born anyway? It all starts with a small upset, like a splash in the water, that can grow afterwards to unimaginable proportions. So any small gesture can be the first step that ends up changing a whole life, a whole community, a whole world. Miguel has spent his life surfing all kinds of waves, but he realized the biggest wave he will ever surf is the one he is actually helping to create. So later that year, I decided to travel to Africa, to Saint Tomé, to surf in show a reality of a country. We were able to do a beach cleanup and we counted with more than 50 kids uh, from local schools, local community, Saw my surf, the first group of girls. <laughs> we had a chance to join the NGO Tato project to go with them for two days on studying preservation of the turtles. That trip was really rewarding for me not only the surfing, but all the moments that I shared with the community, be able to go there and give back. It was just pure joy. 
and made me go back home with my heart fulfilled. Everything started to connect and I soon joined WWF. Now an ambassador on the campaign Eat for Change that defends a sustainable diet that starts the consciousness on what are you eating, where it comes from and how it's produced. Choosing to follow a sustainable diet can help to improve our health while also making sure the planet has enough resources to feed future generations. And here is the one thing to learn as well. The wave he is waiting for only comes once. Don't let it go. Don't miss the chance to ride something beautiful. Along this journey, I've learned that various issues contribute to this climate crisis, and ocean plastic is only one of them. There is still hope, though. We just have to think, feel, and act as one. Pick it up. <laughs>